this is Gina. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little bracelet that I'm calling Decorative Squares. I know it's a dumb name, but I couldn't think of a better one, so <laughs> that's what it's going to be. Anyway, this is um, a fairly detailed bracelet. It takes a little time to accomplish. It takes quite a few beads, but it really turns out nice in the end. Let me put it on my wrist and I will show you what it looks like on the wrist. Um, mine I made I was trying to accomplish a little over a 7 inch bracelet, but I think it's closer to an 8 inch bracelet, maybe even a little over. So you may want to adjust um, the amount of units you make in your original base units to accommodate for that. It could just be the fact that my clasping turned out bigger than I thought it was going to. <clears throat> but it fits fine. It's just, I believe it's closer to an eight inch. It's either a seven and a half or an eight inch. And I'd rather have a little under a seven or a little tiny bit over a seven because my wrist isn't quite seven inches. So something like that. But um, turns out pretty. So let's look and see what we need for this project. Okay, so what you're going to need for this project today is you will need a toggle clasp I'm using an antique bronze colored little toggle here. Then you will need four millimeter and three millimeter fire polish beads. I don't know the exact colors of my beads today because they came in strands and they're not labeled. So this one is kind of a creamy tan color, um, AB, four millimeter fire polish bead. And this is kind of a golden vitriol um, three millimeter fire polish bead. Then you will need an eight by six millimeter rondelle. This is a golden brown, brown colored rondelle. And I believe it is also a B. And then you will need eight O's and 15 O seed beads. Both are Toho that I'm using today. This is a metallic bronze eight O. And this is the Starlight in the Toho line, which is a permanent finished galvanized golden tone um, 15 O seed bead. Then you are going to need to use either eight pound um, nanofill or six pound fire line. You can use a 10 pound nano fill. It's just that the smaller um, gauge, the smaller diameter that you can use today will be beneficial. So I would not recommend an eight pound fire line. I would recommend a six pound fire line and I would recommend an eight pound nano, nano fill. So thread onto your needle a couple of wingspans or th of your thread. I'm using a size 10 English beading needle today. A 12 will also work. Go ahead and thread your needle and we'll get started. Okay, to start this project, you are going to pick up one rondelle onto your needle, like so. And you're going to bring it down to the end. Leave yourself enough tail to put your clasp on, which would be 12 to 16 inches, or leave enough to extend it so that you can put your clasp on on this end. Now, I'm not sure I may sew back through and use my working thread, but I'm going to leave a tail just in case that I can extend. So I'm just leaving a few inches. Now, once you have gone through your rondelle, just hold on to it like so, and then pick up four 80 seed beads onto your needle and drop them down to the rondelle like this. Once you have done that, let's get closer, you will ignore the first three 80 seed beads that you've dropped down and you'll go through the fourth 80 and the rondelle, hold on to your working thread, hold on to your rondelle and pull your working thread through like so. Pulling these down into a little right angle weave unit. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just turn your bead a little bit, pick up four 80 seed beads onto your needle like so, drop them down to the rondelle, which can be tricky when you've got a bunch of thread, but it can be done, so just do it. And then you've got you're going to skip the first three 8-0s, just like you did on the other side. Go through the 8-0 on top of the rondelle. 
go through the rondelle and the eight-o on the other side and pull. And this is what you should have. Now, this is weak and sloppy, so we're going to strengthen and neaten it a little bit by sewing back through the entire unit. So we're coming out of this 8 right here. We're going to sew up through the side bead here. Tension in this project is going to be very important, so you want to maintain good tension. If you have to sew back through your beads, sew back through them just to make sure that everything is tight. I'm going to show you to sew back through them anyway. It is always an option you don't have to do if you're worried about using thread, but I recommend doing it. Go through the side bead here, go through the 8 here, and the rondelle and the 8 on the other side, like so. And then pull your thread through, give it an extra little tug to make sure that that unit is now nice, neat, and secure. Arrange it if you need to a little bit. And then we're coming out of this 8 we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to sew through each bead. So I'm going through the side bead, the top bead, the side bead, and then I will go through the 8 in the middle here and through the rondelle, through the 8 on the other side. Actually, do not go through the 8 on the other side, excuse me. Just go through the rondelle and exit. So after you've tightened this unit, go through the rondelle only. Move your 8 aside and exit the rondelle. Then you will pick up four 15 seed beads onto your needle and a four millimeter <clears throat> fire polish bead, <clears throat> excuse me. Then pick up four more of your 15 OC beads onto your needle. Just spread those out, I can't pick them up. There we go. So you will have four 15 O's, a fire polish bead, four millimeter, and four 15 O's. Let's get a little closer. We are coming out of the rondelle here in the center of the unit we created. We are going to go into the opposite side of the rondelle from which we're exiting and only the rondelle. We're going to ignore all of these 8 seed beads and go through just the rondelle. And then push the 8 on the other side away like so. We just want to travel through the rondelle. Bring your beads around to the front here. If they fall behind the unit, just bring it over to the front, like so. And then turn your unit and do the same thing on the other side. Pick up four 15 O's and then a fire polish bead, four millimeter, and four 15 O's, like so. Go through the opposite side from which you're exiting and just the rondelle, like so. Actually, if you catch the 8 on the other side, it doesn't really matter. We're going to sew up through it anyway, so. Arrange it so that it is laying nicely against your original unit here. Like this. And then sew up through the 8 on the bottom here and the side 8 if you can grab them both. Pull tightly. Make sure that embellishment is nice and neat and looks good. And then we will sew through the top 8 on this little right angle weave unit right here. Let me back off. I'm getting out of frame. Now we're going to make our next unit. So what we need to do is pick up two 8 seed beads onto the needle. Then we will pick up a rondelle, like so, and then four 8 seed beads onto our needle again, like so. We're going to drop all of these down to the unit we just created. We are going to hold on to the rondelle bead, just lay the others against your fingers here, hold on to the rondelle bead. 
ignore the first three eightos on the thread, go through the fourth eighto, go through the eighto right underneath the rondelle, like so, and pull. Then run your needle through the eighto right underneath the one you're coming out of, and go through the same side of the bead you're exiting from. So go through the same side you're, exit, you're exiting from. So right here. Tighten this up and then pick up. So you're coming out of this side now. You just followed back up your thread and through the bead that you're connecting to. Pick up one 8 seed bead and then ignore the two beads on top here Go through the fourth bead or the bead right on top of the rondelle and then go through the rondelle and go through the 8 underneath the rondelle and pull down. And you now have a second unit. But as you can see, my unit is weak and sloppy. So I'm going to sew through the bottom right angle weave unit here, come back up through my rondelle, secure that, and then we will add the outside embellishment. So I'm going to go ahead and throw, sew through the side bead here, and then the bottom bead, and then, sorry my hand is aching, let me move, to, move it, there we go, and then I'm going to go through the side bead here, I'm going to go through the 8 seed bead on top of the rondelle, through the rondelle, and through the 8 on the other side. Then I will sew back around the unit I created on top of the rondelle. So I will go through the side bead. I will go through the top bead here. I will go through the side bead and the 8 and the rondelle and exit just the rondelle. Don't go into the beads underneath the rondelle. Pull this tightly, give it a little tug so that your unit that you just reinforced is nice and neat and secure. And then we will begin putting on our outside embellishment like we did the top here. So we will pick up four 15-0 seed beads, a four millimeter fire polish bead and four 15 0 seed beads onto our needle. Like so. So I have four 15 0s, a fire polish, and four 15 0s. I'm coming out of the bottom of this rondelle. I am going to go into the top of the rondelle and only the rondelle. And as I come through the rondelle, I'm going to avoid the 8 0 seed bead on the bottom. I'm not going to go through it and I'm going to pull these beads down around the rondelle, like so. Now I'm going to turn my piece, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll drag my thread over to the other side, and I will pick up four 15-0 seed beads onto my needle, a four millimeter fire polish bead, and then four 15 0 seed beads onto my needle, like so. And then I will go, I'm coming out of the rondelle here. I will go just up through the rondelle on the opposite side from which I'm exiting. I will move the 8 0 seed bead aside and pull through. And again, you I could have run up through that 8 0, but I didn't, so. I'm going to arrange my beads, make sure that they're sitting nicely next to my 8-0s, like so. Then I'm going to go up through the 8-O underneath the rondelle from which I'm exiting, and I'll go up through the side bead here in the right angle weave unit. I'll go into the top 8-O here, and I will begin again. We'll make one more unit, and then we'll go to length doing this. So we will pick up two 8 seed beads, we will pick up a rondelle, then we will pick up four 8 seed beads onto our needle, like so. We're going to bring all of this down to the piece we're working and 
Hold on. Leave the, the paste in your head. Hold on to the rondelle. Ignore the first three eightos. Go through the fourth eighto. Go through the rondelle. And go through the three eightos underneath the rondelle. On the same side you're exiting from. So you're coming out of the speed. Just go ahead and go through all three on the same side you're exiting from that particular bead. Pull all of this down like so. Now you can do them one at a time like I did on the first one, but it's just faster if you go through all three. And you'll also exit more correctly this way because you know you have to come through the bead the way, on the side that the thread is exiting from. Then pick up your 8 seed bead. You've got to finish this little unit here. So we're going to ignore these two beads right here. We're going to go up into the fourth bead here. And then we can go through the rondelle and the eight on the other side. And pull tightly. Give it a little tug. Like so. Now we have to secure this again. So, so through the top bead in the unit, we were coming out of, do I have an extra thread? No. We're coming out of this bead here. We're going to go into this one and then this one, and then we'll go into the rondelle and then go into the 8 underneath it also, like so. And then we will sew through this unit again. We'll go through the side. I'm coming out of this 8 -o. We'll go through the side bead and through the 8 -o we are attaching to of course, normally I like to just sew through one at a time, but in this project it doesn't really seem to affect it, so I'm just going a couple at a time. Then I'm going to go through the next side bead, the 8 on top of the rondelle. I'm going to go through the rondelle, move the 8 underneath away, and go through just the rondelle. Now we are going to pick up four 15 seed beads. A fire polish bead, four millimeter, and four fifteen o seed beads onto the needle, like so. Then we're coming out of the rondelle. Here we're going to go into the opposite side. We're going to come through the rondelle, move the unit away on the bottom, pull this loop around the rondelle, turn our piece. Pull the thread over to the side we're working on. <clears throat> Pick up four 15 0 seed beads onto your needle, a four millimeter fire polish bead, four 15 0 seed beads. Come here, bead. Come here. Like so. And we're going to do the same thing. We're exiting here. We'll go into the opposite side, avoiding the 8 seed bead on the bottom here. Come up through, and you can go ahead and come through the 8 on the other side too. Like so. Then we'll sew up to the top bead so that we can add the next unit. And we will do that by picking up two 8 seed beads, a rondelle, and four 8 seed beads onto our needle. Drop them down. And again, hold on to the rondelle. Ignore the first three 8 on your thread. Go through the fourth. Go through all three 8 here. And make sure you're entering on the same side you're exiting from. And then pick up an 8 -o. You're coming out of this bead here. You're going to skip these two beads. Go into the bead right underneath the rondelle. Go through the rondelle and go through the bead on top of the rondelle on the other side. And pull it tight. Now you are going to sew through and reinforce and strengthen this unit. Then come up just through the rondelle. Put on your outside embellishments. Move up to your next stitch and do the same thing. And you will continue doing this 
until you have 10 rondelles down the center. So I'm just counting my units by counting just the rondelles. Now, this will make a little over a seven inch bracelet. If, however, you want a shorter bracelet, then maybe you'll want to just go to nine rondelles. Or if you want a larger bracelet, you'll go to 11 rondelles. But you want to make sure that you have a full unit. So um, the rondelle will have a unit in front and in back of it of right angle weave. So you will have on the ends two um, units of right angle weave, which you pretty much have to in order to make a unit at all. So you um, will want to go like an inch short of the desired length, depending upon the size of your clasping. I've changed my mind. I was using a different color clasp. I'm going to a golden tone instead of an antique bronze tone. But regardless of that, you want to make sure that you have enough room for your clasping no matter what length you go to. So now we're going to put a clasp on one end and then we're going to travel through and do another um, embellishment on this. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pick up three 15-0 seed beads and an 8-0 onto my needle, like so. Let me get you closer. Whoops, that's farther. Like so. So I've got three 15 O's and an 8 -0. I'm going to drop this down to my last unit. I'm going to pick up one end of my clasping. I'm going to go through that clasp. Then I'm going to go back through the 8 -0, and I'm going to pull my thread through, thereby pulling my clasp down, like so. Don't pull it incredibly tight at this point because you need to travel back through it. Let me back off and do this again since I was out of frame. So basically, just put the 315s and the 8 on it, go through your clasp, go back through the 8 I am now exiting the 8 seed bead right here. I'm going to pick up three 15 seed beads now. And I'm going to go into the opposite side of the 8 I'm exiting from. So I'm just going to go into this side. And I'm going to pull this down. Now I'm going to sew through this three or four times as much as my 15 OC beads will take. And then I'll be exiting the 8 and I will return. So just sew through your clasping exactly how we put it on until it is secure. Okay, so I have secured my clasp onto one end of my bracelet here and by sewing through it several times and now I'm exiting the 8 that I have attached my clasping to. I'm going to sew through this 8 and down into the center so I can move through the center of my project and add another embellishment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go from this top 8 I'm exiting right now into the side 8 and then into the center 8 and through the rondelle and through the 8 on the other side of the rondelle. If I can find my needle here. And there. So I am exiting the 8 I'm just going straight down the center. And then I'm going to sew into the side bead here. So just exiting the little 8 unit in one of the side beads the, right there. And then I'm going to pick up a 3 millimeter fire polish bead. And I'm going to go, let's get close again, and I will try to stay in frame here. I'm exiting this 8 here, the side of my right angle weave. I am going to go into, I picked up a 3 millimeter fire polish bead. I'm going to go directly into the next unit side arm. So right here in this 8 sticking out. And I'm going to place this fire polish bead right between the two 8 in the units right next to each other. Then I'm going to go down through the center 8 through the rondelle, through the next center 8 like so. And pull my thread through. And then I will go into the side 8 here.
oops, make sure your thread doesn't get caught on anything. And then pick up another three millimeter fire polish bead. Go into the next sticking out side arm of the next unit of right angle weave, right underneath it, right there. And pull that fire polish bead into place. Then go through the center 8 0, the rondelle, the next center 8 0, and pull your thread through. Then you will go into the side arm right here of the right angle weave unit that you are in currently. Then pick up a 3 millimeter fire polish bead and go into the next unit. You can go into the side arm, you can go into the middle bead, the rondelle, and the next middle bead like so. Continue doing this working your way all the way down the length of the bracelet on the side you are currently on. And then once we get all the way to the end of the bracelet, we will put a clasp on the other end and come back up. So let's go ahead and work our way to the end of the bracelet. When we get here, we'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I have secured my clasping on this end. Let me back off just a little bit so I don't get out of camera. And now I'm coming out of the 8 c bead here right underneath um, the clasping section I put on. So the top 8 c bead in my right angle weave unit. I'm going to go down into the side arm. I'm going to go down into the center. Um, 8 in this unit, I'm going to go through the rondelle, and then I'm going to exit the center 8 underneath the rondelle, right here. And I'm going to pull my thread through. Now as you can see, my thread's getting short, so I will extend my thread after I show you the next embellishment. Now if you do not know how to extend your fire line, I have a new channel called GGC's Beginning Beaters. And there is a tutorial on how to do that on that channel. And it is under the, the video headed threading a, or what is it called? Threading a beading needle and adding thread to a project. Check that video out and it will show you how to extend your fire line. Now, let's go through this 8 seed bead here. So I came through the rondelle and the 8 seed bead underneath it. Let's go into the side um, Edo here, the sticking out one, and then pick up a three millimeter fire polish bead, go into the next sticking out um, Edo, go into the center Edo next to it, go through the rondelle, and the center Edo underneath the rondelle, and pull your fire polish bead into place. Continue doing that all the way down the length of the bracelet on this side, and when we get to the end, we will come back. Okay, so I have gone ahead and put my embellishment on the entire side that I was working on, and now I am coming out of this bead here. I have decided to put my clasping on with my working thread. However, if you reserved a tail and you want to use it instead of your working thread, then what you will do at this point is you'll come out of this ado after doing the embellishment with the little three millimeter fire polish beads. You'll sew around your unit, go back down into the center bead, and then start your embellishment on this side the exact same way you did that. So you'll just sew around the unit, Go down into the rondelle, go down into the center 8 and then exit this 8 here and put your bead in, your 3 millimeter fire polish bead in down the entire side. Then later you can thread your um, needle with your tail thread, come up through the side here and put the clasping on like I'm just about to do. Now where we exited with our tail was through the rondelle. I've cut mine off and burned it down. I will shove this little um, wad of burn down area inside my bead later. Right now I don't want to block my bead, but I am going to put the class bomb with my working thread. Now your work, your tail thread came out here. When you want to use your tail thread, if you've decided you want to use your tail thread, just thread it onto your tail, your needle onto your tail, and then sew up through the beads 
to get to where you need to put your clasping on. Because it's exiting here, you'll have to sew up through the 8 this 8 and this 8 Anyway, if that wasn't confusing enough, let's go ahead and do the embellish or the clasping with the working thread and work our way around to do the other side embellishment. So I'm coming out of this bead here. I put this embellishment on, I came up through the 8 I came up through this, through the rondelle, through this 8 and now I'm exiting this 8 here. So I've just sewn up through it. Now I'm going to sew through the top bead here. And I am going to pick up my three 15 o seed beads. And then I'm going to pick up my 8 o seed bead. And then I'm going to pick up the other end of my clasp, like so. I'm going to go through my clasp, drop this down. I'm going to go back through the 8 o and just the 8 o I will hold on to this gently and pull my thread through. Again, I will pick up three 15 o seed beads onto my needle like so. I will go into the opposite side from which I'm exiting in the 8 o seed bead I'm attaching to and pull my thread through. And now I have my clasping laid out for me. All I have to do is follow exactly the same steps I just did three or four times. When I'm done securing the clasp, I will be exiting this seed bead here and we'll okay. be back. So now I have done my entire embellishment on the second side of my bracelet all the way to the end, putting my three millimeter fire polish bead in. So now I am coming out, let's get you close. I'm coming out of this 8 seed bead here after placing this three millimeter um, fire polish bead for my very last embellishment. So I came up through the middle, put this in, and then I'm exiting this 8 -o. So what I need to do now is I need to go up through this 8 here, through the center of the rondelle, through the 8 on top of the rondelle, and pull my thread through. We are going to do our next embellishment. This bracelet is just one embellishment after the other. So what we're going to do now is we're coming out of this 8 we're going to go up into the side 8 here. We're going to go into the top 8 where the clasping is attached here. And then we are going to come down into the 8 on the side here. And we're going to pick up a 15 o seed bead onto our needle, like this. Now I'm going to go from this 8 where I'm exiting into this little strand of 15 o's. So I am going to get this position to where my hand can actually reach it. I'm coming out of this 8 o I'm going to go down into these four 15 o seed beads, and I am going to pull my thread through and pop that 15 o that I picked up down in between these two little areas here. So right like this. Now I'm going to come up through this fire polish bead I am right next to and this is where I will start my next embellishment. Let me back off. I'm going to pull my thread through this fire polish bead. I'm going to Set my bracelet out this way so you can see what I'm doing, perhaps. Now you want to watch that your bracelet doesn't flip all around because this particular um, embellishment is what's going to secure your bracelet. So if you have it twisted, it's going to be all messed up. So make sure that your bracelet is not twisted and then pick up a 15 o seed bead, a fire polish 4 millimeter, a 15 o, a 4 millimeter, a 15 o, and a 4 millimeter, and a 15 o. So you will have on your needle a 15 o, a fire polish, 15 o, fire polish, 15 o, fire polish, and 15 o, like so. You're coming out of this fire polish bead here. You're going to go into the opposite side from which you're coming out 
and you're going to pull this down into a circle. Now for this first one here, we're going to go ahead and sew back through it and secure it. So I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to sew back through it. Now, as you work your way down the side of the bracelet, you can make the decision yourself whether you want to secure each one of these particular units or not. I tend to like to secure all my units of right angle weave because it makes them neater and stronger. So it's up to you. So I'm just sewing all the way around until I come out of just this fire polish bead here. I'm going to ignore the 15 O's on either side of the um, fire polish bead and I'm just going to pull my thread through. And then I'm going to pick up four 15 O seed beads onto my needle. So I have four 15 O seed beads like so. I'm coming out of this fire polish bead I'm going to travel over to the little 3mm fire polish bead we just put on in our last embellishment. And I'm just going to go through the fire polish bead and pull these four 15 O's down, like so. Now I'm coming out of the 3mm fire polish bead. I will pick up four more 15 O seed beads onto my needle, like this. And I will go into the next fire polish bead, the four millimeter up here. So I'm coming out of this one. I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to pull all four of these fire polish beads down and make sure they're nice and neat like so. And then I am going to pick up a 15 O seed bead, a four millimeter fire polish, a 15 O, a four millimeter, a 15 O, another four, a 15 O, and another, nope, just three actually, because we have our fourth on here. So a 15 O, a four millimeter, 15 O, four millimeter, 15 O, four millimeter, and 15 O. Then I'm coming out of this side of my fire polish bead. I don't want to loosen up my last little strand of embellishment, so I'll give it a little tug. I'll come into the opposite side here and I'll pull these down. Now I'm going to secure each one of these units as I sew through because otherwise I find that it just gets sloppy looking and you can also loosen up this embellishment you just put on, which you want to go over the top of the other four um, 15 O's in your work here. But right now, let's just worry about securing this. So let's go through the entire unit. I'm sorry, I keep getting tangled on my bead scoop. All the way around. If it pulls loose like that, don't worry, you'll pull it back in as you go around. And then when you come back through, just exit the fire polish bead. Don't pick up any 15 O's on the other side. Pull this through and tighten it. Give it a little tug so it's nice and tight. That will also help tighten up the little strand of 15 O's you put on before as you were traveling from fire polish bead to fire polish bead. So now we need to travel from this fire polish bead to this fire polish bead. So again, we will pick up four 15 O seed beads onto our needle. We will go from the fire polish, polish bead we are in right now to the three millimeter one in the center unit here. And we will pull the four fire, um, 15 O seed beads down. This will cinch the bracelet up just a little bit. So if you're worried about losing length, add a little bit extra at the end as far as making a bigger clasp or something like that. But I think it should be fine. So. We're coming out of this three millimeter, pick up four of your um, 15 O seed beads and go into the fire polish bead here on this embellishment and pull it down. And then again, 
kind of put these four 15 O's on top of the four that are already there. And you'll be able to do that after you get your right angle weave unit in better. But you want these ones to lay on top. Let me show you. You want these to lay on top of these strands here. Okay. So now I will pick up four more 15 O seed beads onto my needle. And I will travel over, or actually, no, I won't. <laughs> I'm coming out of the big fire polish. When you're coming out of the big fire polish, don't forget to make your unit of right angle weave on top of it, which I have tended to do since I created this design. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a 15-0, a fire polish bead, a 15-0, a fire polish bead, a 15-0, a four millimeter fire polish bead, and a 15 O. So there's what you should have. And then you'll go into the opposite side of the fire polish bead you're exiting from. Give your working thread a little tug just to keep those four 15 O's in place. And then pull this new unit down around and catch on everything. <sighs> there we go. And then, again, you will pick up four 15 O's and travel over to the three millimeter bike, or not bicone, but um, fire polish bead. Now here is what I said. Make sure that your units don't twist. Look at your entire bracelet, make sure it's straight. Because if it twists, you're going to put on your embellishments and look at it and go, oh man. So go into the next one. There we go. Now you're going to continue traveling all the way down the entire bracelet doing these little embellishments. Give you a look at what it looks like and then just go ahead and continue all the way down the length of the bracelet putting on your last embellishment with your 15 O's, your right angle weave unit, your 15 O's all the way down and we'll be back when we have finished that. Okay so I have done all the embellishments on this side of my bracelet. Now I need to move over to the other side and do the same embellishment on the other side. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm coming out of this fire polish bead here after putting this little um, strand of 15 O's on and I've come through this fire polish bead here. I'm going to go up into these four 15 O's right on the other side of the fire polish bead. <clears throat> Pull my thread through, pick up a 15 O seed bead, and go up into this side 8 O right here. So I'm going to go into this one. Maybe. Eh, there we go. Okay. And pull that through. And then I'm going to go <clears throat> through the top 8 here where my clasp is attached, down into the side 8 here, pick up a 15 seed bead onto my needle, and then go down into these four 15 here to get myself set up for my next side of embellishments. So now I am ready to go through this fire polish bead here and start my right angle weave. So, let me turn this so I can reach it. I'm going to pick up a 15-0, a 4 millimeter fire polish, a 15-0, oops, that's the wrong color, and a fire polish, a 15-0, a fire polish, and a 15-0, like so. Now, I'm coming out of this side of my fire polish bead. I'm going to go into the opposite side. I'm going to sew around this little unit I've just created to secure it.
Okay, once I get up to the top, attaching fire polish bead, I'm going to go straight through it without grabbing any of the 15 O's on either side. And then I will pick up four 15 O seed beads and I will travel over to the three millimeter fire polish bead in the center unit here. And I will just continue. I'll pick up four more 15 O's, go down into this fire polish bead, make my eight, my, um, my right angle weave unit here, and then move through the entire side just like I did on the other side until we get to the end of the bracelet and we will be back. Okay, so now you can see that I have finished my second side of embellishments all the way to the end. Now I'm coming out of this fire polish bead here, and we will get prepared to do our last embellishment. So I'm coming out of this fire polish bead after securing the unit that I just placed, and I'm exiting right here. I'm going to go up into these four 15O seed beads right above it on top of the rondelle here and pull. And then I'm going to pick up a 15O seed bead. I'm going to go from these 15O seed beads to this side 8O seed bead in the right angle weave unit. So I'm going to go up into this bead right here. Then I need to work my way back around so that I can put my final embellishment on. So I'm going to go up into this top 8 where my clasping is attached. I'm going to go into the side 8 here. And then I'm going to sew down these 15 seed beads, which can be kind of hard to get into, but just take one at a time if you have to, however you can do it. We're going to sew into all of these. So I've got four of them here. And then I am going to ignore this one going up into this bead and I'm going to go into, well actually I am going to go into that one 15 L there. See that little 15 L? I'm going to go into it. And then I'm going to go into the 15 L next to the fire polish bead and go up through that fire polish bead. And then I'm going to go into the 15 L and the next fire polish bead and exit. Okay, so now we're coming out of the fire polish bead on the top of the first right angle weave unit here. What we're going to do now is we're going to sew through the 15 L right next to that fire polish bead and the fire polish bead underneath it. And then we're going to exit, ignoring the, fi the 15 L seed bead underneath that fire polish bead. Then you're going to pick up two 15 O seed beads, on, or actually three 15 O seed beads onto your needle, and then a four millimeter fire polish bead, and then two, or three, excuse me, 15 O seed beads. So you've got three 15 O's, a four millimeter fire polish, and three 15 O's. You're coming out of this fire polish bead right here. We're going to go into the opposite side of the fire polish bead you're exiting from. So go into this side and exit through the fire polish bead without grabbing the 15 0 under it and pull. Pull this down into a little loop like so. And then sew through the 15 O's, so you're coming out of this fire polish bead, sew through these three 15 O's here, pull your thread through, then go up through the fire polish bead again, and pull your thread through. So you just have this little loop here. Now pick up three 15 O seed beads. Go down into the fire polish bead on the next unit in the same position as the bead that you're exiting 
from an attaching to. So we'll go directly into this bead right here. We'll avoid the 15 nodes on either side of it. Just go through the fire polish bead with three 15 nodes on your thread and pull these 15 nodes down like so. Then pick up three more 15 O seed beads onto your needle. Like this. And then go into the next, the fire polish bead that you started in. So go into the bottom side to finish off your loop here. Pull this tight. Make sure there isn't a bunch of thread. And then go back through the 15 O's. So you're in this fire polish bead, go back into these three 15 O's on top. Okay. Now you will sew down through the fire polish bead here. Then you will sew into the 15 O in between these fire polish beads right here. And in the process, make sure you're tight tightening up your last embellishment so it lays nice and neat like so. <clears throat> so we're coming out of this bottom fire polish bead right here. We're going to go into the 15 O right next to it and into the fire polish bead above the 15 O, but do not pick up the 15 O here. And we're going to do the exact same embellishment again. We're going to pick up three 15 O seed beads, a fire polish bead, and three 15 O seed beads onto our needle. like this. We're coming out of this fire polish bead right here. We're going to go into the opposite side of that fire polish bead, but we are not going to pick up the 15 out. We're just going to avoid it and go up through the fire polish bead like so. And then pull a loop. Then we're going to sew through, now that we're coming out of this fire polish bead, we're going to sew through the 15 O's to work our way over. So we just added these three 15 O's, we're going to go through them. And pull. Make sure that tightens nicely, and then move through the fire polish bead. And then again, pick up three 15 O seed beads. and go into the fire polish bead right across from it, avoiding the 15 O's on either side. The only time you'll go through the 15 O's is when you're sewing through the entire unit to get to the next unit to embellish it. That's the only time. Otherwise, you will ignore them. Now, we are coming out of the fire polish bead here. We're going to pick up three 15 O's. We're going to attach to the fire polish bead we just put on. So if I can find the hole, we'll do this. <laughs> there it is. Okay, then I'm going to go through this fire polish bead right here and pull. Then I will sew back through the three on the bottom here. and pull my thread through. And then I'll go up through the fire polish bead here. Make sure my embellishment, whoops, cut my unit there. Make sure my embellishment looks good, it's nice and tight, and then I will sew into the 15 out, the fire polish bead and the 15 out here. Pull my thread through. I will go down into the fire polish bead and just the fire polish bead here, exit, and then do the exact same embellishment. 
and I will do this all the way until I get to the very end and we will be back. Okay, so I have finished this entire side of the last embellishment and now I am coming out, let me get you close here. I am coming out of the last little 15 of seed beads that I put on. So I went around, I'm coming out there. I'm going to go down into the fire polish bead right underneath those 15 nose I just added. And then I'm going to go through the 15 nose between the fire polish beads here. <clears throat> then I'm going to go up into the 15 O's here. So I get this little last one and I'm going to go up all of these. Right here. Then I'm going to grab this one underneath the 8 O and go up through it. Perhaps. Okay, come here, you. Right there, and go up into the 8 -0. Now I have to sew over to this side so I can do the same embellishment. So I'm going to go into this 8 -0 here. I'm not going to go into any of the 15 O's for my clasping. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it around so I can get to it better. And then I'm going to go through this 8 -0 and the 15 O's underneath it. So I just got two. I need to go through these. So I'm going to leave this little 15-0 and I'm going to go into this one right here. And I'll go all the way up into the 15 O on the other side of the fire polish bead also. I will go into the fire polish bead here. The 15 O and the fire polish bead down here, but I will not pick up the 15 O on the other side. I'll leave that one. And pull through. Now I will begin the same embellishment on this side as I did on this side. So I need to pick up three 15 o seed beads onto my needle, a fire polish bead, three 15 o's. So I have three 15 o's, fire polish, three 15 o's. I'm coming out of this fire polish bead. I'm going to go into the opposite side, but avoid the 15 O. I do not want that 15 O. Right there. Pull the loop down and then go through the 15 O's on the bottom of the loop here. Come up through the fire polish bead tighten that embellishment up and then I will pick up three 15 O's onto my needle and I will go from this 15 O over to this one avoiding the 15 O in the unit. So I will just go into the fire polish bead so I went from fire polish to fire polish adding 15 O's in between whatever I said otherwise <laughs> I think I called the fire polish bead of 15 0 and that's not right so look at what I'm doing not what I'm saying uh -huh. all right three 15 o's we're going to go from the bottom of this this fire polish bead to the bottom of this fire polish bead pull the 15 o's down into a loop like so now we're coming out of the 15 or the fire polish bead that we just added go into the 15 o's right next to where you're coming out. Go down into the fire polish bead you're attaching to. Go into the 15 O underneath it. Go into the next fire polish bead. 
go up into the 15L and the fire polish bead here. But do not go through the 15L as you come through the bead. Just like so. And then do the same embellishment again. Pick up your 15 O's, your fire polish, your 15 O's. Sew back through and then connect the other side and continue sewing through the units, getting to the next unit and putting the embellishment in between. Just like we did on the other side. Do that until you reach the end of the bracelet and we will be back. Okay, so now I have finished the other side of my embellishment and let's tie it off. So get a little closer. Here I am coming out of this fire polish bead here after adding the last embellishment of 15 O's. Coming, I came out of this bead, added the 15 O's, and came up through this bead. Now I'm going to sew through the 15 O's and sew into this unit while tie, tying knots, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to go into these 15 O's, these three right here, and then make sure my embellishment is tight and looking good. I will go down into just this fire polish bead and then the 15O after it. So I'm not going into this 15O, just the fire polish, and then I will go into the 15O on the other side because I'm going to sew through that entire unit. So we have to make sure that we don't loosen our last embellishments. So give it a little tug after you pull through there and then grab onto the thread bridge between the fire polish bead and the 15O right in here and pull a half hitch knot between the beads. Pull tight, make sure everything looks good and then sew up into the next fire polish bead and the next 15 O if you can grab them both. <clears throat> and again, grab another knot on the thread bridge right here. Pull it down between the beads and then sew into the next fire polish and the next 15 O. And grab another knot. Then I will just sew around this unit just one more time just to make sure that my thread is secure. So I'm going around the entire unit including the 15 O's that are in the original unit. None of the 15 O's that are like on the other side. Just the ones in the original circle. And once I get to the top corner here I'll come out between this 15 o and this fire polish bead. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just <clears throat> sew secure your thread following your original thread path and tying knots. If you want to sew over into some other parts, that's fine too. I just think that this one unit is plenty for me right now. And then I'm going to cut my thread off, leaving a little extra. And then I'm going to burn that extra down. And... Get all this stuff out of the way, and I will show you what we have just made. Oops, back off. And that's what that looks like, and I think it turned out really, really, really pretty. So let me put it on my wrist, and then I'll back off again. Here, let me put it on this wrist, and show you what I have made. <clears throat> now, 10 units actually turned out to be a little bit bigger bracelet, <clears throat> By the time I clasp it, I think it's closer to an 8 inch bracelet because it's pretty loose on me. So you may want to go 9 units in your original str um, strand unless you're clasping it differently than I did. In your original base units, you may want to just go 9 units for a 7 inch. Or um, you can go 10 units for a bigger and whatever. Just adjust according to the size you want. And let's get a little closer so you can see what it looks like. And I think it turned out really pretty. I really like it. 
And I'm glad you watched with me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.